Welcome back to Brain Candy TV. Hey, Brainiacs! Welcome back to Crash Course Stadium. Are you ready to learn more about colors with our awesome stunt jumping monster trucks? Lizzie's excited, aren't you, Lizzie? <laughs> okay, let's go! In our last video, we learned all about the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow, and how to mix them to make the secondary colors, orange, purple, and green. But what happens if we mix a primary color with a secondary color? Let's set up our special color mixing monster trucks again to find out. Okay, here we have our special monster trucks that can mix their paint colors together when they crash into each other. Whoa, look at the size of that giant loop. On this side, we have the primary color blue. On the other side, we have the secondary color green. Let's crash them together to see what color they will make. Three, two, one, go! Oh, cool! What a nice color! When we mix a primary color like blue with a secondary color like green, it makes a tertiary color. This tertiary color is called blue-green. Another name for blue-green is cyan. So the primary color blue mixed with the secondary color green makes the tertiary color blue-green. All right, let's try that loop again and crash the red truck with the purple truck. Let's go! The red and purple trucks combine their colors to make the tertiary color red-purple. So red mixed with purple makes the tertiary color red-purple. Let's see what happens when we mix two colors that are opposite each other on the color wheel, like blue and orange. These are called complementary colors. Okay, blue and orange trucks, let's mix our colors! Cool! The blue and orange trucks mix to make the color brown. So the complementary colors blue and orange make the color brown. In fact, all complementary colors that are across from each other on the color wheel will mix to make the color brown, like red and green, and yellow and purple. Another way we can make different colors is to add black or white to them. When we add black to a color, we call that a shade. Let's see what happens when we crash our black truck and our red truck. Oh, cool! Look, those trucks are locked in a stunt sphere. Look at them go around and around. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, what a crash. Look, the black truck and the red truck mixed to make the color maroon. Maroon is a darker shade of red. So red mixed with black makes the dark shade of red called maroon. When we add white to a color, we call that a tint. Let's see what we get when we crash our white truck with a red truck. But where is our other red truck? Oh no! Our second red truck is late for the show. Here he comes up the spiral ramp. He better hurry up. But how is he going to get down into the stadium? Whoa, I think he's going to jump from way up in the stands. Look out below! Ah, oh, 
awesome! What an amazing stunt! The red and white trucks made the color pink. So red mixed with white makes a lighter tint of red, the color pink. All right! Now you know how to make all sorts of secondary and tertiary colors, and even tints and shades. I hope you have fun mixing your paint colors in art class. Hey parents, if you and your Brainiacs have been enjoying Brain Candy TV and would like to join our Brainiac Club for some fun perks and help support our show, please check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash braincandytv. You can also support us by watching on Amazon Prime Video or on the fantastic kidoodle.tv app. Thanks for helping us continue to create fun educational resources for kids around the world.